Hi, and welcome everyone to the sixth episode of Inside AMG. By now, I already need two hands. We've arrived at the letter F. F as in four-wheel drive. A lot of you have asked for that topic. As you know, at AMG, we have a lot of cars with four-wheel drive. We're all about maximum performance with four-wheel drive, but not only on the road. Today, we're in this neck of the woods in Immendingen at Daimler's off-road testing facility, and we're gonna be testing the capabilities of AMG vehicles off the road on loose surfaces. We got plenty of loose surfaces here, different kinds as well. And uh, we're gonna take a look into that. We got a very special guest for this topic today that some of you might even recognize. And I can hear him coming already. Hi, you're waiting for me? I've been waiting for you, yeah. Looks like you've already had quite a bit of fun. <laughs> it looks like, but I want to have you in my car. So Mark, <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, how's it going? Perfect, so it's my first time to be here in Immendingen, but I know this car and this is more than a car. You know this car very well because you are actually quite well known as the expert when it comes to the G-Wagon. I don't know, my only job is I'm the chief instructor for the G-Class and I call the G-Class my second allowed wife or my office. <laughs> okay, so you know this car very well. You say you don't know the terrain that we're going to be driving on today. It's much more fun for us. It's a challenge for us. Okay. That's the way maybe. So a lot of unknowns that we're facing today. But we're really per perfect compared with the G-Class so to do everything, you know. Maybe we have the wrong tires, you see, but it's more slippery than I think it will be more fun. Definitely the most beautiful rims, but yeah, not exactly off-road tires, but I, I got a feeling that this isn't going to be too much of a problem for this car right now. Yeah, but the important thing is that you have traction all the time. We have three diff locks, we have low-range gear, and it's a G-Class, and every G-Class can go off-road, you know? So some people might think this being an AMG G-Wagon, it's been trimmed for on-road performance and for of lap course. times, but... Of course, so, it's but still... every G-Class must go off-road. The reason why we launched the G-Class was to build the best off-road vehicle in the world. This is now really the new one for on-road performance and especially the AMG, 585 horsepower, you know. Unbelievable on-road performance. If you go to Sports Plus, full acceleration, you never must go to a dentist. You get a bleaching <laughs> for free. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't wait. Can't Let's wait go. go in this one. Jump in. Oh. So please sort your seat belt. Oh yeah, I definitely will. So you're the chief instructor for the G-Class. That's true. So everybody that wants to learn what it's all about driving a G-Wagon has to... Came to Graz, now we still launched the G-Experience Center. But everyone who buys a G-Class buys always the opportunity to go off-road. Mm -hmm. Because we have the diff locks, mm -hmm. we have the low-range gear, mm -hmm. and we have the typical letter type frame, so really strong. And the AMG is a little bit special against the normal G-Class. We have off-road Modi. So we have the rock, where you can see here, where you can change. Then we have the trail package. And then if we're playing in the sand, in the dunes, we have a sand program. Crazy, three bespoke off-road driving modes for this car, additionally to the ones you already know for on-road driving. So yeah, you got all the right tools that everybody knows from a regular G-Wagon, plus more performance. You know that this right here, boy. I want to go up and I think it's a little bit slippery, you see? There's no way we're gonna get up there. <laughs> That's it's a G-Class. Okay, okay. <laughs> Show it. <laughs> and now we're on the top. I can see you're not messing around. Oh my God. Oh. Like it's been raining for the past couple days yes. here, so everything is covered in mud. It's a little bit slippery. And we've got road performance tires on. Yes. And this thing climbs up there like it's nothing. nothing. It's a G-Class. So the maximum what you can climb up, it's 100%, that means 45 degree, but not on this surface, you know. Oh, wow. Like this terrain back here, oh my God, this looks like it would be difficult to walk on actually. Yeah, but it makes no fun, you know. 
so that will be the first round that we get a little bit fun. And every G-Class wants to go off-road, also the AMG version. <laughs> so we're right now in trail mode, so I, I figured that's the that's the perfect mode for terrain like this. For this, yes. Yeah. If you go really over bumpy, then we have the rock program, but maybe we find some rocks, but normally in this area it's not possible. And then we have the sand program where I can play in the dunes. Oh my god, that is so steep. That I, you, I, you can't even see the road over the hood of the car. You don't need a road for a cheat life, my friend. <laughs> and then we go down. This is 50, 55 percent. Like it feels right now, if I just let loose, if I didn't wear a seatbelt, I'd just be falling on my face yes. right now. All SUV models they have a DSR downhill speed regulation. Uh huh. We don't have it in the cheat class. We always use the low range the reduction ah, okay so you don't the need the dsr one, then it's one two three and we always use the engine brake because only running tires uh -huh. give you the possibility to handle the car so we have enough ground clearance what the small. oh my god there's just small. <laughs> there's just yeah. holes in the surface this here is, yeah maybe so now you feel that's the slippery uh -huh. of the tire so we lock the center and the rear now we have three spinning wheels uh -huh. wow one in the front and the whole rear axle. But now I lock all three. That means all four wheels <laughs> have the same rotation all the time. And for the G-Class, there's only one way. Only forward if one wheel has enough traction. Wow. When you lock the third diff, it's just go time. And always disengage the third one because if you lock all three, the turning circle will be, I have no idea, 20, 25 meters. Every G-Class get the diff locks. You pay for that. Use it. You should use it. it. So, first gear, engine brake, <laughs> and only running tires give you the possibility. Then we have now the 360 degree camera where you see everything in front. This is so crazy. <laughs> it feels like we're gonna tip over. This is my favorite office. This is really cool. That is just unbelievable. Let's have a look for that. I never forget when I drove the first time in a G63 and that what this is a G-Class? Un unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I can remember I experienced the, the, the acceleration on the road for the first time. Unbelievable. It feels like a sports car. Yes. It just this it's, instant punch. It's an AMG. But still, I mean driving on this on this surface with a most, performance car. Yes. Wow. <laughs> this makes fun. <laughs> yes. It absolutely does. <laughs> That's just crazy. That defies everything <laughs> that you think you know about vehicle dynamics. So now we do the same in high range. Uh huh. So we're leaving the normal road. Okay. And this is also a highway for a G63. You see what I mean? This is the. <laughs> this feels like we're doing the Perry Dakar. Yeah. <laughs> AMG is not only for the race tracks. Oh yeah, I can see that. We also can have lots of fun. Lots of fun here. Oh my god. <laughs> I had no idea we had this much off-road expertise. I definitely know now that there can't be just one favorite AMG model. Like this thing, you have to have in your garage. In your collection, yes. When you have when you when you are a petrol head, when you consider yourself a petrol head, you have to have this car. That's it. It's an icon. <laughs> wow, Mark, that was deeply impressive. I feel shaken, not stirred. What an amazing car, what an amazing machine. I hope you enjoyed the little bit off-road track for you. And I hope to see you soon in Graz that we can play a little bit much more with the G-Class. But I think now it's time that you will change your surface and I will stay on the better side. Exactly. Oh, I don't know if it's the better side, it's a very different side. So now it's time for me to step back onto the road to experience some 4Matic Plus on-road performance. Another four-wheel drive car, a very different kind though, and a different expert for the next segment, Felix. Hi Felix, good to see you. How are good you to see you too. I'm pretty good. Welcome to the new GLC 63 Cube with a 4Matic Plus four-wheel drive. It's an intelligent four-wheel drive system and today I'm going to show you what this car can do on-road. 
All right, I'd say let's go for it right now. Let's jump in and start. The scene is getting crowded, I'm a robber always. I don't need your approval, I'm a go my own way. My daddy told me to be first, you finish last place. The world show me one way, I'm a go my own. This is the so-called mountain road. It's a track usually used for Daimler colleagues who are testing their shifting programs. Uh -huh. Today we are going to use this a little bit different. I mean, this looks like a normal country road and it is within the premises of this testing facility. We have an uh, exclusive booking on this track right now, so we won't be bothered by anybody else. Nice. Uh, so let's have some fun. I have so, to say, like coming from the G-Class back to back now on the smooth surface, it's, it's so different. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. Although the G-Class is also quite performing on, on road, its main track is the off-road track and this car here is significantly different it loves the track what is our formatic plus in this car uh, formatic plus in this car is pretty pretty similar to the same system as it is in the E63S or in the or in the, the GT, GT yes in the, yeah because we've the seen coupe. that system uh, in the GT in a couple videos actually and uh, it's it's amazing how 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 much grip you get I mean the level of grip in the GT is just nuts but I mean that's a sports car it's a four door yeah. sports car yeah. Whereas this, the GLC, started life, started its life as an SUC. And it somewhere still is. Yeah, it, it is lowered, it is stiffer, it is more performing. But as you said, it, it is somewhere is an SUC. But due to the fact that it is equipped with the Formatic Plus uh, four-wheel drive system, this one is really performing. Yeah. So, do you know how a, how a standard four-wheel drive system in a Mercedes-Benz is working? Uh, I got a rough idea how it works. Yeah, in a typical Mercedes-Benz, you have a so-called planetary differential. Yeah, so it's it's a central differential system that distributes the torque and power from motor and engine uh, between the front and the rear axle mm -hmm. in a given ratio. Yeah, in a Mercedes-Benz, it's typically either a 45-55 ratio or a 31-69 ratio. The majority at the back of the car. Yeah, this system is not really related to this. Yeah, so the housing looks a little bit different, uh, but the interiors are way more different. In this car, we are having, instead of a differential, a classical differential gear set, we're having a multiple clutch system. Uh -huh. This means how much torque we are moving to the front axle is defined by how much pressure and how much slip we have in this clutch. And okay. this clutch is controlled with an electric motor yeah, and some cool and fancy mechanics in between. This enables us to control exactly in which situation we have how many newton meters of torque on the front. And uh. this enables what we see right here, a car that is able to steer into corners more like a sports estate or a sports coupe than an SUC. I hope you guys can see this, but I can't believe how quick we're going with a GLC around this around this road. It's crazy. Something pretty special about our Formatic Plus system that it's an active cool system. So it is really equipped with a with an oil heat exchanger and uh, is in the same coolant circle as the gearbox. And no other manufacturer has that? Uh, not that we know of. 
Mm. Yeah, and this really is a benefit because it allows us to keep that high level of performance of the car for a very long amount of time. And to be thinking that this car, that like the regular GLC, such a high car, high center of gravity, and what AMG has made of it, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. It's a completely different car. A, a normal GLC couldn't do this at all. It, it just wouldn't. Even, even if you would turn off all the electronics, it couldn't corner like this. So and still, when you push it back into comfort mode and just let it do its thing, it remains the same, comfortable, perfectly absolutely. fine family car. Yeah. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. And I think I haven't promised too much. Yeah, so this track, this mountain road here in Immendingen, it is pretty much the perfect track to show you the capabilities of our four wheel drive system. Oh, yes, and this is a we perfect. We have small turns, we have large turns, we have fast turns, we have slow turns. So you really see and feel the difference in the performance. And this is a perfect showcase for on road 4 Matic Plus four wheel drive performance. For sure. I don't want to be rude, but I hope you never find another that can care for you. And I had a feeling I was wrong, but I knew that it was going down. Right now, I talked a lot about our central differential OS, yeah? so mm -hmm. the, the major component of our Formatic Plus system. But to be honest, I need to tell you about one component more in the car. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this car is equipped with a rear axle that has an electronic limited slip differential. Yeah, so we are not only having an intelligent four-wheel drive system, but also we have our high-performance uh, limited slip differential that is controlled by an electronic motor. And the combination of those two systems is what really empowers the car to behave like it behaves and to perform like it performs. Without the electronic limited slip differential, the car wouldn't be so quick in its reactions. So you can also, with that electric motor, influence the difference in yeah. rotational speed between the left and right rear yeah. wheel. Yeah. You can also actively control how much slip you allow between the rear axles, uh, the rear wheels, and how much not. Wow. Yeah. So two intelligent diffs, pretty much, in the car? Yeah. Yeah, and they are knowing what the other one is doing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they are not really communicating with each other, but they're knowing what the other one is doing because they are linked over the over the chassis buses, uh -huh. over the network that is uh, communicating all over the vehicle, and this uh, established those two systems to know what the other is doing, and therefore they can react on the performance of the other one. An interesting figure, maybe, for people to, to get some sort of feeling. Yeah? So the time that needs to pass between the situation where the central differential system has no torque on the front axle and the maximum torque that it can apply is less than 150 milliseconds. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> this one is fast. It is fast. as fast as the car. <laughs> this is crazy. I think we're gonna have to let the tires cool off for a while. Yeah, and the brakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, so, this was the that dynamic was... part of our Formatic Plus system. I hope you enjoyed our little trip around the Emitting and <laughs> Test Track. Definitely, that was really impressive. Um, but what is this? This car has a special feature. So we said, okay, let's include this special feature into the challenge. And for this, we have Hannes. Hi, Hannes. Hi, Felix. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. Very impressive car. It is indeed. It is also a multi-purpose car. So that's what Felix told you with the challenge. Um, we looked at the dynamics features, but it also has 100% everyday usability capabilities. And it also has a trailer hitch. There's another system in the car, the so-called trailer maneuvering assist. Trailer maneuvering assist. Yes. And it allows you to fully control the car automatically. You only have to do the pedal stuff as driver, and the car does all the steering. 
So I don't know if how many experience you have with trailers. I have none. Exactly, exactly none. Yeah. Okay. Never it, driven with a tra trailer before. Okay. Then it will be something between hilarious and really ex exciting what we'll okay. do now. <laughs> um, but first things first, let's uh, maybe attach the car to the trailer first. Okay. That sounds like manual labor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe just turn it a little bit more. Perfect. All right, so you lied to me. You said this car is a trailer hitch. I don't see one. Step one, let's release the hitch. <laughs> there it is. Okay, that is a nice touch. <laughs> the rest is, has to be done manually. Okay, okay. Last step, electricity maybe. And then we're ready to go. Awesome. Maybe to give a little impression how good the system is, I can start without using the system. Can be pretty hilarious and embarrassing. I don't know. And then you will be at the second round um, using the system. Okay. Hopefully with the half of the time. Okay. Of myself. Okay. And for this, I'm going to stop the time because a real challenge has to be a challenge and therefore we need something to measure. You go without, I go with, you take times and if we knock over some cones, that's... All cones you're going to hit will be two seconds each. Oh. Two seconds per, coin, per cone. Could, okay, could, okay. Could, could be like, like bowling when I'm uh, starting. <sighs> Tall order, okay. okay. You join me, right? I'm gonna join you. I wanna okay. see you struggle in there. This already looks totally counterintuitive. Counter <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not moving yet. <laughs> it is, come on. <laughs> Oh my God, I definitely can't see me. <laughs> you, you're going almost perfectly straight. No, it's turning, it's turning. Looking good. You're parking perfectly next to it though. I do. <laughs> Wasn't that the challenge? No. <laughs> okay, I definitely see Struggle. that I got at least a few chances of being quicker than you, but. There are, my friend. There are. It's oh, no. oh, still oh, oh, looks oh. extremely difficult. By now it's by now it's pretty much a guessing game. It is, it is. <laughs> Try and error. Yeah, you're, you're in. I, I, I'm stick with these. <laughs> it's okay for me. It's okay. <laughs> it really is. And but I think you went a little too. <laughs> uh, okay, that's two points off. Oh, two seconds off for you. That's why we didn't get the wall. But what I could already see is it's totally counterintuitive. Like you want to steer in one direction, but the trailer does the exact opposite of what you want it to do. So Never you... learn it. It's not, it's, it's not in my head. Oh not my really God. not, it is, it isn't. What's the time? That's okay. one minute 58. One minute 58. Shall we have a little bet? I think Felix is going to do in less than a minute 20. Right. Less than a minute 20. Yeah. Okay, no yeah. pressure. No pressure, less than a minute 20. I'm yeah. going for a minute 10. Minute 10, yeah, minute okay, 10. even more pressure, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna give it a go. All right. Okay, so I activate the trailer maneuvering assist. You go into reverse? I go into reverse. Parking mode? Parking mode. And ah, you're there on. it is already. I don't need my hands, right? I Only for the media the display. Only for the media display? Yeah. So we're driving and, okay, the car is turning it's by <laughs> itself. I'm, I'm doing absolutely nothing at the steering wheel right now. I'm not looking way better than my approach. Okay, looking good. It is looking it good. Is. Almost got it, almost got it. Perfect, uh, look at it. Say that's, say that's good enough for me. <laughs> nice job. Is it in there? I'd say it's in there. I'd say it's perfectly in there. You really? missed our little bet just by that much. One minute, 22. One minute, 22, okay. I was a little- As a good sportsman, I have to admit, good job. <laughs> thank you very much, thank <laughs> you very job. much. But I gotta say, it's so much easier than it. I mean, I haven't tried it without, but it looked so difficult when you it did is. it. And with steering it on the display, it's so intuitive. I mean, it's almost like a video game. <laughs> yeah. So Thanks a lot thank for this you. little challenge. Really cool. So there you have it, folks. Four-wheel drive does not always equal four-wheel drive here at AMG. We got very versatile, different systems. Today we saw the G63 with its amazing off-road capabilities. We saw the GLC63 with its amazing on-road capabilities, thanks to Formatic Plus. And we've seen that whilst being a track tool, this is still a very capable, everyday car, very usable, even with a trailer. So if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. Tell us what you like, tell us what you didn't like. 
Tell us what you would like us to film next, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the little bell icon so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. So until the next one, bye-bye.